Hello, this is Doja Cat. <laughs> you gotta see this setup, okay? You think I'm a professional by now? This is being held up by a great Amazon Prime box right now. Hi, bitches, my name is 45 Degree Angle today. Some of y'all last week said that my hair color turned out purple instead of silver. B bitch Try me. I said dark blue steel. Before I descend into this madness of TikTok, I first want to say thank you for 500,000 because my dumbass keeps forgetting to say it in every video. All of you should know I always appreciate your support and for watching this, this, me. What is this video? Like, I don't know why you still watch me. I don't know why my professors watch me too. Like, what, what do you think? of my videos, of me. Also, there is an update to the merch website. You probably saw a few months ago, I tweeted about it and I made a video sort of about it. I was trying to draw some sticker designs for you guys and I don't have them with me, but here they are because they're still being made right now. I'll be able to show them on Instagram at some point so you can see them if you don't want to buy them immediately. But it's just another alternative to getting merch in case you don't want to spend more on a hoodie. I know everyone has different price ranges, so hopefully this gives a variety of things. Another thing, there are still some less than three pins that are being discounted for like $7 right now. And lastly, I got a few comments saying that they wish they could buy the Bidget hoodie, but it's a little bit too expensive. So I asked my amazing manager and he lowered the price. And I also asked him to drop the other ones, but he said those already dropped as far as we can go, Frederick, stop dropping it. Hopefully that helps some of you guys out. TikTok. I unironically watch it now. I don't say that proudly. And honestly, I would not have made this video if my friend did not buy this wig right here. Because the moment she bought it, I was like, that is, that's Doja Cat. But I just wanted an excuse to wear a wig in a video. Yeah, I'm gonna turn into an e-girl even though Jenna Marbles has done it and some other people that I don't feel like naming have done it. I've turned into an e-boy before and uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna watch a tutorial on how to turn into an e-girl because I, I see them on my For You page every goddamn day. I see them around the streets every they, they they all look the same and I don't mean that as an insult I think the look is cute but some of y'all gotta shop at different stores like come, come on like I'll give some credit some credit to the e-boys they at least can dress differently even though they all still look bad but e-girls I they're kind of wearing the same outfits and I think you should change it. Change it up, please. So the first step is to have clear skin and I'm not putting on foundation because I don't want to and plus my skin's been I'm peeking, honestly, okay? I'll just say that. This is the best my skin's looked in a while. But I am going to first start off with the eyes. Their eyebrows, oof, I don't really want to glue them down, but they typically do like a straight brow. They cut off the tail and they just shoot it straight up like it's like it's a rocket going into space. So I'm gonna see if it's possible to make this eyebrow go diagonally. We're also gonna... There. I need to glue that part down, don't I? Let's just ruin my face while we're here. Might as well. And only glue this one down. All right, same to the other side. I'm not shaving this off because um my eyebrows are one of my favorite things about myself. And I'm not willing to sacrifice them for the sake of a video yet. We're getting there. All right, we're gonna do like three layers of glue. Why don't I just like take a chunk? See that? I'm just gonna take that big chunk, put it right there. Same thing right here. Okay, before that dries, you have to powder this down and just powder those ends. Ooh, that already looks... <laughs> Oh yeah. Hi mom. Once you've powdered, you put on foundation. Oh, I got on my pants! Oh god, it's actually working. Oh, why did you have to work? Then you powder it again. Back to foundation. We're gonna let that sit. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna take five minutes to sit back and contemplate my decision for ever doing this video. All right, while that foundation sits on top of my skin like icing on cake, I'm going to do my eyelashes. I don't have mascara because I abhor the feeling of it. So I just have eyelash curlers. Yes, it's from Muji. And I'm gonna see if I can make myself have eyelashes. Guys, I've been using castor oil on them every day. So if these don't become visible, I will make a video about getting eyelash extensions because I just want to know. I want to know what it's like to be able to feel my eyelashes on my lid. Ow, ow. Am I a pretty girl yet? <laughs> okay, other side. Ow, ow, oh my God. Oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, kinda wish I had eyelashes still. So this foundation has set. Take a look back. What, would you like this look on me? Alright, now it's time to completely ruin it. Take this bottom line and shoot it straight up. Yes. Just like that. This line, up. Bro. <clears throat> okay, not, not terrible. Oh god. How do you end it? I just don't- No sir, no, mm, mm, no ma'am. Let's just make it ten times worse. A liner that has some hair strokes into here, you know. We're microblading now. Oh god, all right, let's keep going. You know, my roommate walks in on this and then he decides, Frederick, I don't think we can room anymore. 
I wouldn't blame him. I would not be able to put up with this. All right, brows done, sort of. Oh, oh my God, when I move them? Hi, I'm mad 24 seven, what's your name? Okay, on to eyeshadow. In my experience, they always go for purples or dark pink. We're gonna first start off with a transition shade. And by the way, I'm not gonna try to make this amazing. If you wanted a tutorial, you could have easily gone to any other beauty guru channel. This is just meant to be fun. We're gonna start off with a base shadow of just pink. We're also gonna take that pink and just put it next to my sideburn anyways, because it's gonna go that far. Don't lie, you've seen this. Ooh, that could be a good blush now that I think about it. We're gonna do a reflection across the y-axis on this side. Only reason I'm talking like that is because I just took a physics quiz, which by the way, our teacher is so oblivious to these two Chinese students in the back who just speak the answers to each other in Mandarin. And um, I will admit I do listen sometimes because they, they do give the right answers in Chinese. Honestly, I'm not too mad about that. I look like a fucking flamingo. Have I caught myself that yet? Oh, I wanna add that to the list. All right, let's talk about TikTok though. I talked about e-boys in the past and I still stand by my opinion on them. I don't hate the looks they do. It's just the cringy shit that comes with the look. Like I feel like every time I see an e-boy, they're either rolling their eyes or biting their lips. It's like a circus act. Like I get the same thing every time. This purple shade is terrible, honestly. I I would not expect it to be good though because this is this is elf and this is also probably expired and i'm not a makeup artist so don't expect me to do anything good by the way if you're watching this video the day it comes out i should be at upenn right now doing an art workshop for one of their classes it's sort of like having a motivational speaker except they asked me to not just speak but do something fun and i was like i don't know what to do like what do you want me to do play piano for them like i'm not going to teach them to paint because i'm i can't even do it that well and then my friend said oh try acrylic pouring because it's easy it's fun makes a hell of a mess and you don't have to try too hard oh god this mm -mm, no sir that was not a right choice i regret my decision to put black in this look. I also realize it's patching up here because that's where my eyebrow should be. Okay, whatever. I don't care too much. All right, we're gonna keep going. But yeah, if you're at UPenn, uh, let me know what you think about how my performance is because uh, I'm not a formal speaker and last time I spoke was at my high school. And uh, I don't know about you, but like high school people don't really give a shit. Okay, next we're gonna do blush. And I'll be honest, I like the blush on the nose and the cheek, like really high up, you know, you're kind of sick, you got a cold, a chew. I like that look to an extent, because this is my Glossier blush. I've had this for like six months. I've used that much of the tube that like, this is still here, because I take a dab, like one touch of it. But you e-girls like to that, this much. You guys fucking don't make it look like you have just the flu, but you also have three other diseases at the same time. Who wants to go out looking like this? There's way too much, guys. Y'all putting way too much on, okay? You do not need this much. This doesn't look like I'm sick. It looks like I'm being doused in Cheeto puff powder. It's not just one blush, it's two, okay? It's uh, bam, bam. Am I exaggerating this for the sake of getting my point across? Hell yes, but have I also seen e-girls who genuinely look like this? Yes, and I do not. Oh, this smells really good. Like you put the blush as your concealer, you might as well just put it under here. The nose bridge over your mustache. You know, just put it, put it everywhere. Why not? I also wonder like how long are people gonna look like this? What year are we gonna look back and say, Maybe we shouldn't have done middle parts. You guys keep thinking, I'm, doing, I'm gonna do eyeliner by the way. You guys keep saying that in my last week's video, you thought that the middle part looked good. Maybe my generation is different from this TikTok generation, even though it shouldn't be because we're the same exact age, unfortunately. But we made fun of middle parts in our school. Like if a boy had a middle part, that's you before a glow up that happens. Girls with middle parts, yeah, that's normal. Like no one cares about that. But guys with middle parts, everyone always said like, oh, they would look so much better without it. And now y'all like the look. And maybe it's because I have this internalized fear of getting bullied in middle school again that I don't have a middle part. Like I, I don't want to do it again. Next, you're gonna put a star under your eye because stars are very hot and I'm burning hot. This Kelvin temperature burning. This is my favorite part of the look. I actually think it's kind of cute. I genuinely was debating going to school with a star under my eye at some point. Like, honestly, so close to doing this in high school. Next, you're gonna do the mistake of putting freckles on your face. I've debated trying henna freckles. You let me know if you think this look is passable for me. Cause like, it kind of looks like acne scars and I, I just got rid of all of mine and I have yet. 
I have yet to see someone do it naturally. Like, the best way to do it is to literally close your eyes and do it because then you're gonna just place them in strategic areas and that's not the goal of freckles. You gotta do it how Mother Nature does it. Just place it in the most random parts, like, like, on your ass. For lipstick, they just take the same blush and mm <laughs> Okay, you know what this also looks like? Those TikToks when they do got a secret, can you keep it? <laughs> Kinda gives me that vibe. Let's put on the wig. Alright, don't judge how I put my wig on. Oh jeez, I can't see. <laughs> Holy hell. I need a comb, I need a comb. Fucking work with me here. Why don't you say so? Didn't even notice. This is not me making fun of Doja Cat, by the way. I'm so sorry I'm doing her dishonor. I look like the Walmart version of her. <laughs> oh, by the way, I painted my nails black just for this video. No. What if I do like the, like just goes over my eye and then I. <laughs> I just keep going. <laughs> oh my god, is this how girls actually deal with their hair? Yeah. So this is it. Um, some people are gonna get off to this. Ready? Weave. Snatch. <laughs> no, should I put it? Should I get into the full outfit? I should get into the full outfit. Hold on. I got my turtleneck on. I got my rings. I am a Cancer rising. I, I'm Chinese. I like pandas. Here we go. This kind of looks like The Rock, and then a, a mistake. Oh my God! People are watching from outside. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> don't worry, guys. I'm just making a TikTok. Don't. Don't. Why don't you say so? Didn't even notice. Vogue secrets. Hello, this is Doja Cat. <laughs> okay, I gotta take this off. I gotta take it off. I gotta take it off. If you enjoyed this shitty ass video, make sure you give it a like. Leave a comment down below about what video I should do next week. Subscribe because only 50% of y'all are subscribed and that is what? Selfish. And turn on my post notifications because YouTube is a bitch. Alright, I love you guys and everything is less than three.